Well, for more on this story, let's bring in Mark Perelman, our political editor. Mark, what more do we know? Well, we know very little. We know that two people were apprehended. Obviously, uh, the man who slapped uh, the president in the face. We don't know about uh, the second person. Maybe it was the second uh, person who was filming uh, the incident because we saw that it was very, very quickly spread on social uh, media. So it, it's it's a possibility. Uh, what we do know is that uh, the uh, person who slapped the president uh, cried uh, Montjoie Saint-Denis, which is essentially a rallying cry uh, for the royalist. I mean, it's a very uh, s uh, limited minority in terms of political uh, clout here in France, but it's a small uh, group. So that's uh, the assumption right now, but it's very, very early. What we do know is that, as usual, the president was late. He was supposed to go to a luncheon. He was already late. He was in his car. He saw people waving, shouting. He got out. He went uh, to greet them. This was not planned, and this is possibly why there was such a situation. Uh, we know that uh, people, when they come uh, close to the president, they're frisked, but obviously uh, they still have arms and uh, hands that they can use, and so this can uh, happen. And the president, immediately after uh, the uh, short uh, footage we saw, continued uh, to greet people as if nothing had happened, and uh, the day, we're told by the Elysee Palace, is continuing as planned. The president is uh, actually finishing a luncheon, and then he has another uh, event. He's not mentioned the incident uh, until now, and we can assume uh, that he won't unless he's asked about it later on. Uh, Mark, what does it say about the current political climate here in France? Well, obviously, uh, uh, politicians uh, from uh, all uh, across the political aisle have reacted, condemned from the far left to the far uh, right. We just heard the prime minister uh, talk about uh, violence. And yes, there is uh, this uh, notion that uh, political uh, discourse is becoming more and more violent. Uh, clearly, uh, there's tension because we're a year away from the presidential election. Uh, there was all those months of uh, lockdown. Uh, the president was essentially on a tour to celebrate the fact that restaurants uh, will be reopened, including indoor restaurants, as of uh, tomorrow, uh, more freedom will be uh, allowed. Uh, but it seems that there's a lot of uh, pent-up anger, and clearly uh, there are uh, some political uh, goals that want to be attained by uh, some uh, militants. So that, yes, there is some concern, because it's not the first time that someone was slapped. Uh, someone actually tried to kill a few years ago the then-president, uh, Jacques Chirac with a rifle. We didn't go uh, this far, but clearly uh, there's going to be concern about the security of the president and also other politicians uh, who've been attacked or whose offices have been burned in recent months.